everybody, it's your boy Slab Train. Welcome back today, guys, for the Horizon 2 with the brand new handbrake mod that I have done. It's a hydro e brake, actually. Uh, I've been waiting a long time to show you guys this. We have our first gameplay of this up on the channel and many, many more to come. Now, today we're just going to go over a quick overview of everything, you know, showing you guys what exactly it is, how did I make it work, and uh, my future plans with this mod man now it's pretty dope i'm not gonna lie this is my second handbrake mod that i have done for my setups if you guys follow my channel way back in the day i did one for my fanatic oh i didn't want to hit that man i did one for my fanatic wheel a long time ago and uh you know ever since we got the thrustmaster I just haven't done one. You know, I really was hoping that you know somehow Xbox was going to come out with something. It just never ended up happening. So you know, I had to resort to making my own once again. Now I got to give a massive, massive thank you to a gentleman on YouTube named Jesse Strader. Now hopefully I did pronounce that correctly, but uh, he already did this mod, and you know I followed kind of his template on how he did the handbrake. He gave me overall the idea for the hydro e brake for it to work and you know how to get it to work this and that. I kind of took his idea, modified it a little bit, but you know the general idea came and started from his videos on YouTube. So if you guys would like to check those out, links will all be in the description box down below just to kind of give you guys an idea, a little bit of a better in-depth discussion on exactly you know what he did, you know what kind of style he was going with and that's all in those videos man there's three of them they're like 40 minutes each they are pretty lengthy but if you are doing this it is great to have more footage than less when you are modifying this now straight off the bat uh it's not a hard mod to do whatsoever now we started off by pretty much taking apart my wheel you would have to take apart the entire wheel and in order to get access to your circuit board for your wheel. So what I did was I ended up taking all this out, screws and all that at the back, blah, blah, blah. You know what I'm saying, man? We're not here to talk about screws, positionings, and all that. Just how the basic setup works. So you, you would take off the faceplate and you would reveal your circuit board. From there, your circuit board, you would then go ahead and solder your wire to the B button, which is right here. From there, the wires come out the quick release and then go to the hub. Now, the original way that you would do this is the hub would disconnect. So in his video, uh, he made his wheel able to disconnect. And that was the overall plan for mine, was for it to be a quick disconnect style as well. Now, I took a long time trying to figure this out, you know, why my connection was not working. Um, I didn't have the right screws in here. So I kind of did a very Hager Garage style mod on here, man. And I'll kind of explain to you, you know, what exactly I am talking about but um, you know I, I sat there for about an hour trying to get the screws to touch inside the base to the wheel and it just it didn't want to touch but I couldn't get a current sending it to the base so what I ended up doing was pretty much taking the entire faceplate off again and I wired up the base to the wheel hub I just kind of took two sets of wires made sure the circuit was connecting and then from there, um, just threw everything back in to the wheel hub, closed it all together, fed the wire through the base out to the back, and then made a quick disconnect switch, which I bought at my local electronic store for like two bucks for these, you know, quick disconnect cables. Made my life so much easier. Highly recommend it if you are planning on doing your own e-brake mod. But yeah, so right now the e-brake mod is a little sketchy in the middle, but... The reason I haven't, you know, taken it apart and done it properly is because, well, it's not broken and it has been going strong ever since I did it. And I haven't wanted to take apart this wheel and, you know, try to make it perfect because it's not broken and it is working 110%, 110% hey, of the time. Hey, how's it going? Um, what you know, can I do to no help you? There's no issues whatsoever with the connection. So at this point in time, it works and it may be sketchy inside of here. But it is doing the job properly. And, you know, for that, I am very excited. I did not want to touch anything. So, you know, after all that, I fed the wire through the base. Like I said, there's a tube that runs all the way down the base. And if you feed the wires through... Oh, sorry, I'm getting ahead of myself, man. What you have to do first before the tube is you have to drill a hole. You have to drill two holes going through the center piece 
behind the wheel. So after you take off the wheel, you drill two holes, you feed the wire through there, and then I drilled a hole at the back of the base, allowing for, you know, the actual... Ooh, what the hell is this, man? I don't even remember owning this shit, but I'm down, though. Whoo, that thing looks beastly, man. Let's go. 69 Charger for today? Hydro E-Brake mod? Let's slide this bitch, man. Oh, my God. But, yeah, so that was the idea. Ran the cables out the back and then, you know, just made enough slack so that way the wheel would rotate a full 900 degrees inside of there, not having any issues with the button. And, uh, yeah, I came out the back. I then wrapped around the cable and then up to the e-brake now for the e-brake this was a little bit tricky and thankfully when i did this because originally you know i brought the e-brake up to my fiance's dad's shop and you know, the guys looked at it and they welded my e-brake to my metal bracket which was the plan from the get-go now i actually had my button with me and i asked them i was like do you have any ideas as to how to you know make this button work so he made a nice little kind of jimmy rig system where when i pull this handle back all the way i can pull this back all the way i can yank on it i can go as hard as i want and the button's not going to break and um yeah it's just it's a perfect setup metal piece touches the button which then you know connects the circuit allowing that to make contact and then we have e-brake man we got that e-brake you know what i'm saying so it is a very nice setup it's not a lot of work man you don't have to be a rocket scientist to really you know understand what is going on inside of the base now honestly if i was to do this again i would actually probably just do it the way that i did so you no know, for me i had a lot of trouble with the screws connecting that was my biggest problem with the mod so i would say personally just forget those screws man just run the wire straight from the base and you know run it all the way out the back and then have your quick disconnect cable that would have saved me so much time and frustration because of that you know just issue finding out why the connection wasn't connecting i did a lot of trial and error to make sure that you know the button was working the cables coming out the back had a connection it was just it was a big headache if you guys can imagine what I'm discussing. So, you know, I would have just bypassed that entire kind of quick disconnect cable system. Personally, for me, I don't really, you know, disconnect my wheel quite a bit. So it didn't really matter to me with the quick disconnect. Maybe it does for some of you guys, and that's fine. And I mean, you can make it work with the longer screws, you know, the way it works. I do have other people that have made it work with the screws. I work with what I got. And like I said, it was a very kind of Hager garage style setup. But it works 110%, no issues, and I'm completely happy with it. So, you know, from that standpoint, very successful mod. Um, you know, I'm very happy with it. If I have any tips for you guys, you know, if you're trying to do this, um, I will leave everything in the description box down below. The button, though, the button I had an issue with. Because originally, the video that he made, he said that you just need a momentary switch. That was the only thing he said. But when I got to the electronic store, they said, uh, you know, what kind of button do you need? I explained the situation to her, and, you know, originally I thought I needed a normally a open monetary, or a moment, god damn it, man, momentary, momentary switch, Jesus. Say that five times fast, man, that shit will mess with you. But, yeah, I thought that I needed it always open. No, no, man, you need a normally closed momentary switch. So that was where I went wrong. I had to go back, exchange the button, this and that. But uh, yeah, I mean, that was really the only issue. I got quite a bit of wire. Supplies that I needed was just really a drill to get through the actual base. Um, I didn't really have to worry about where I was drilling too much. There's only two massive spots that you can drill. Hopefully the photos that I am showing you guys, you know, do do everything justice for you guys. But um, just overall, very happy with the overall final product of it. You know, it's going to make my life so much better, so much easier, and, you know, just a hell of a lot more fun for Forza, man. I mean, my biggest thing with this game was not having an e-brake when I wanted it. You know what I'm saying? You had to follow the button all the way around. You had to, you know, just make sure. It, it was... It was frustrating, man, but now I don't got to worry about that. I just got to pull here and yank that sub bitch. Now, I will leave the link for the e-brake in the description box down below. It's nothing special. It's just a regular no-name e-brake. Um, what I didn't know, though, was I lifted up the actual felt grip on here and found out 
that there was a kind of screw mounting system. So I ended up taking all that out because it was a little bit short. And originally when I did it, I didn't take into account when, you know, when we actually welded the handbrake to the metal bar, the position, because I didn't have it with me. So, you know, the pullback position. Now, thankfully, I was able to extend that handle upwards uh, about four notches. So it's perfect now, it's perfect grip. I don't have to reach for it. And it's just, it's, it's easily accessible. You know what I'm saying? It's perfect. So, you know, at, at, at the end of the day, I'm hyped, man. I'm, I'm, I'm hyped. It's going to really bring a new energy You're to the channel, way through a to all these videos. You know, there's you nothing like worse route to than knowing event. you can make the slide, but you can't find the handbrake. You know what I'm saying? That is the most frustrating shit in the world. So now, there's no excuses, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be making everything that we can possibly do. And uh, yeah, just overall, thank you, man. Thank you to Jesse Strader with his kind of mod videos that he did put up. Thank you to you guys in the comments for pushing me to finally do it. Really, sir, you see me right there, and the guy still hit me, man. Appreciate it. Jeez, oh my god. This thing is absolutely nasty, though. This thing is nuts, man. Imagine being in the damn cockpit of this thing. Well, I mean, I am right now, but imagine IRL status. You know what I'm saying? That would be nuts, man. That would be nuts. Let's yank this. Damn, that no lift in that third gear. Holy shit. That is nasty, man. Now, the only other things left to do on this mod uh, really would be just making sure that I get rid of the squeakiness. Uh, sometimes when I pull it back all the way, there's a little bit of a squeak to it. Um, so that's really about it. You know, maybe just move up some of those pieces that are kind of moving around. And the other thing would be to cover up e-brake is right now it does look pretty damn ghetto you can see all the internals on there you can see the zip tie the zip ties on there to actually hold the pullback from you know as long as it extends because it does extend further which then really puts it at an awkward angle so I just kind of linked the zip tie on the holes of the e-brake tighten it up to get my desired length and that's about it it can't extend past that zip tie so it's a perfect setup that I have, man. and you know, it's just, it's, it's made for me, you know what I'm saying, it's not made for anybody else, this setup was made for me, and me only, and I'm in love with this setup, man, I'm absolutely in love with it, if you're a drifter with a wheel, you know the struggle of not having an e-brake, you know what I'm saying, my advice, just do it, man, if you can solder, you can do this mod, it's not difficult at all, just a matter of, you know, a little bit of cable management, a little bit of, um, creativity if you will and I mean like I said huge shout out to my man Ace if you are watching this my dude you saved my life with this damn mod and this guy hooked me up with this Jamie Riggs system on the button personally I don't know what the hell I would have done because I don't have access to a lot of tools myself you know just kind of the basics so you know, when I went to the shop and he made that entire setup for that button man oh what are you doing man these guys straight up head on into me like god damn dude, follow the road just overall, he did a great job on it. Thing is beautiful. It is definitely, um, you know, something that I can rely on. You know, even just a full yank back, just boom. You know what I'm saying? You don't need to worry because it's at the lowest point of contact with this. I mean, if I want to, I can adjust it as well too. So I mean, everything about this, it's my dream setup, man. We started from the bottom, and now we're here, man. You know what I'm saying? If you guys have been following the channel. We have started from literally the bottom of here. We're in neutral function. I had, you know, the, the desk set up with, you know, the shitty handbrake mod that I did a while back for the Fanatic. And now, you know, we're up with the big boys, man. We got that hydro e-brake life. And it's just, it's absolutely crazy, man. You know, I'm just, I'm just super damn pumped to get this year going with this. And, you know, just play some great games. Get sideways with you guys as well, too. Lots more open lobbies coming up and I know I keep saying this but now like I said there's a new life right now man you know I wasn't really feeling Forza back you know the last couple months I'm gonna be honest I just I really wasn't you know Forza's been kind of coming to that halt of the grind because you know we're so far into it that it's just it's just kind of getting repetitive and now with this e-brake this is like a damn new expansion almost for me you know what I'm saying so that's just kind of where I'm sitting at right now and, you know, I'd love to know your guys' thoughts of the e-brake. 
If you guys have done one yourself, leave it in the comment section down below, you know, maybe what you did, maybe to help others as well too. I will be in the comments trying to reply back to a lot of you guys if you are having issues or questions. Like I said, um, hopefully the photos did help you guys, but if you do have any, you know, say inquiries or, you know, problems, just leave it down there, man. I'll try to help you guys out. Also, too, I'm sure the subscribers will be down there as well to help you guys out. But uh, you know, just overall, like I said, it's not a hard mod to do. Just make sure you're paying attention when you're soldering. You don't solder your board. Um, you, you know, thankfully, I had a spare wheel that I was able to kind of take apart and see the internals before I drilled into it because I didn't take off the, the full plate completely. I didn't actually take off the entire plate, uh, you know, for the plastic. I just kind of was able to feed the wires through it and then kind of made my own kind of jimmy rig out the back of it. So it was a very doable setup for myself. You know, I cut a few corners from here and there, but as I said, it's a reliable setup. It works right now, and I'm more than happy with it, man. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Lots more videos coming. We got drifting on a budget, maybe some tandems after dark. You never know what's going to happen. Now that we got this mod, man. I mean, we can take over the damn world right now with e-brake slides, man. It's just nuts. I can just sit here, e-brake all day. Right in front of that man, no problem. I want to flip it, bitch. E-brake that shit, man. It's right here. Easy access. And the best part about it, I feel, is that if I'm using it, it's right here. I let go of it right away. Boom! Second gear, you know what I'm saying? Or say if I'm in third gear, let go of it, second gear. And there's no, you know, it doesn't bang when I let it go. It just... You know what I'm saying? It's a very smooth setup, and you know, personally, I'm pretty damn proud of the overall end product. Um, I did say that uh, my fiance was going to be hooking me up with a custom shift knob, or sorry, not a knob, but like a shift boot design for the actual e-brake, so that way it will cover up a lot of you know the internals of it, because uh, it doesn't look the prettiest, man. It doesn't look the best, but um, after that's all said and done, it should look. Pretty damn nice, man. We just decayed that shit. Even with this big girl, man. God damn, man. I'm gonna be sitting here for hours just sliding, man. It's gonna be absolutely nuts. Ladies and gentlemen, huge thank you for coming around to this episode. As I said, any questions about this, leave them in the comment section down below. If I forgot anything, um, I will add it in somewhere down there. You know, just talk to you guys down there as well, too. But uh, yeah, just give me your thoughts on it. Let me know. We will be seeing lots more of this. As I said, everything can be found in the description box down below for you guys, man. Forza Horizon 2, nice little cruise session today, man, showcasing this heat break. Personally, I'm in love, man. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you guys very much for watching once again. If you are brand new, don't forget to subscribe. Become a member of Team Slap today and start spinning some damn rubber with us. As well, too, you guys can follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. All of which are found in the description box down below. Forza Horizon 2 E-Brake Mod Showcase Special. As we spin out. Great outro. Great. Oh my. And then we get hit, man. Appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, to go to Slap Tree. I'm out. I'm going to my house right here. Man. This is my house right here. Peace. Guys. Um.